What do you hear? Oh. Something squeaking, a squeaker toy, and Squeak. laughing. You can hear the laughing? Yeah. I'm like, yes, my, it's my family in the other room. <laughs> Is your door closed? Yeah, my door's closed. <laughs> my, my kids are loud as Is your fucking house made out of rice paper or shit? Do you live in a Japanese home? No, man, I don't know why you can hear me so well. Hear them so well? I can barely hear them. Some root beer. Country ass. Shut your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 27. 27? 27. It's weird that we're, uh, that we're calling these episodes these little things, but I guess they are. Yeah, hell yeah, they are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do we're gonna do kind of a, a little little continuation of last week of the um, sports with our sports because, right because the the um final set for the uf euro cup yep. and the fi- nba finals has started right the, so, the nhl just got done with yeah uh, congrats and, to know, the Tampa yeah, Bay. Con- congrats to Tampa bay um, you know, cool thing about that, I, I didn't really keep up on much on much hockey this year. Um, there's a player, I think his name is Pat Maroon, on um, on Tampa Bay, who just won his third straight Stanley Cup um, with two different teams. He won. Oh wow! I forget who he won with two years ago, but I guess Tampa Bay is a repeat winner. Right. I, I didn't yeah. I, had, I didn't really watch the last two years. Um, I see that they're you know we're looking around on on a. Uh, social media and stuff, I see they're not, not really a fan favorite of anywhere I've looked or anybody I've seen talk about them, but, you know, <laughs> congratulations to them nonetheless. Uh, I think they won They won the series 4-1, I believe, only went five games. I don't think it was much of a series from what I gathered, uh, listening to people. I haven't, uh, I haven't been watching. I haven't been watching hockey this year. It's else. weird. Go ahead. It's weird because, you know, sometimes you watch certain sports like You'd think I would, because I actually, as a child growing up, played organized basketball, that I would watch NBA all the time, but it's just not my ish, man. You know what I mean? Right. I'm and very peculiar about my sports, I guess. Well, it's kind of strange that, uh, you know, when you and I met, we were both very much into watching hockey at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we are talking about it this year, and I, I didn't even, I mean, I knew it was going, I knew the finals were going on, I knew the playoffs were going on. Um, I kind of stopped paying attention once once the Avs. Once the Avs, yeah, yeah. Once the <laughs> once they were down. That's the like other that. side of the coin, right? <laughs> if your team ain't in it, what the fuck? Yeah. But anyways, we want to give our predictions for these two finals, for the NBA oh. final and for the UEFA. Hold, hold on, before we go on, to Euro Cup finals. Something else I wanted to touch on. Somebody had brought up actually a couple of things I want to touch on. Number one, we caught a little bit of heat on uh, on Twitter for for doing some sports stuff. On our on our show, and my first my first reaction is, "Well, fuck you. This is our show. We'll do whatever." The hell we want. <laughs> but secondly, uh, hmm. you know the way I see it. I didn't even catch any of that. You should have shared I, that to me. <laughs> the way the way I see it is, you should share it right now, bro. Put them fucking tweets up. Oh, I I I got messages. I deleted them. Oh. Um, but anyway, I was like I was like uh, the way I see it. You know, sports. These guys. These guys put just as much hard work and their life into their craft as any art artist does. Um, so I consider it very much an art. They're on a stage, they're on a worldwide stage in front of people, and you can look at it however you want. But the way I see it, yeah, you're right. I'm like, you know what? This is this is still on the stage for me. So. You got look. This is something you will never see me fucking do. Come to your fucking Twitter feed and talk shit about what you do on your fucking show. Okay. Off and fucking die. God fucking damn it, man. Have we learned nothing, nothing in this lockdown? Have we not bettered ourselves at all as a fucking people? 
It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Something else I wanted to touch on. We because we we touched on the College World Series last time. Uh, yeah. Mississippi State won. Super psyched about that. But somebody I don't know, I, I don't know if he was a friend of yours or if he's just somebody listening to our show uh, that was talking about why NC State had got knocked she- out. I think that was my friend Jeff Kaufman. He lives in Omaha. Yeah, so I, I I was reading that and I was like, oh, you know, my first thing was like, man, I really should have looked into that before I said anything about it, before I just assumed what happened. Anyway, I went and look, I went and looked it up, and it seems as though most of the things that I've read kind of go along go along right with what he was saying. I did find one thing that came out from I don't know if it's from the AD from NC State or what, but he said. You know, it, they they did get they did get some uh, positive tests, and then so the first game they, that's why they ended up with the depleted thing. Well, then after that game, they went and tested all the vaccinated and unvaccinated kids, and they had another four. So they had eight total accounts. And that um, let's see, I'm sorry, it was the chancellor of of NC State who said this. Uh, it says here in this article, uh, teams were scheduled to play again Saturday too, but because of the four positive cases, the NCAA tested NC State's vaccinated and unvaccinated players Friday night. Um, then they found four more people in that so group. Those tests revealed four more positive cases between. Did those they cases. do they do they mention if if any of the positives were vaccinated players? No, it all says so between those cases and the number of unvaccinated athletes on NC State's 27 player college world series roster, the NCAA medicals group guidelines ruled the Wolfpack out of the tournament. Vanderbilt was then advanced to the college world series finals. It's a tough uh, break. Right. And the chancellor says, we understood, um, you know, we all know that when we have eight test results on a team of this size, that they're all traveling together, living together, eating together. We know what the results are going to be. Now, again, I went and looked for more uh, more articles about this, um, and I didn't find anything else. So I found it strange that I only found the one that talks about this. So I don't know if they put it out there to kind of to mellow the NC State kids out, because a lot of the a lot of the players from that team went on on uh, Twitter and they were really upset, you know, with the NCAA. Understandably so, you know, definitely a tough break. But anyway, I just wanted to I wanted to put that out there and, and tell him thanks for you know bringing that to our attention because something I probably should have knew before I, I tried to just assume what was going on. But see you down, Kalanga. And some one other thing that I that I figured out I kept seeing uh, scores for other soccer teams, right? And to me, I hear Euro Cup. I just kind of assume. That's the one big thing going on in, in soccer. No, we got Copa America going Copa, on right Copa now. Copa America, and the finals for that is on Saturday. So I'd like to make a prediction. I'd like us to make predictions. Oh, who's that. in? Uh, Brazil and Argentina. Oh my God, that's good. That's a good final, man. It's gonna be when is that? That is Saturday. Uh, same, same, same day as the. You, no, you Euro, Euro Sunday. So, is it Sunday? Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah, Saturday is, is Copa Americana. Um, I like to think that, you know, that they're billing it as the Messi versus Neymar. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. And Messi's never, won this, so. Messi's never won this cup. So, you know, boy, he's been on fire on this, in this tournament too. I've been watching a lot of the highlights and, and then I watched the, their semifinal game and he just, I mean, the guy's just amazing to watch. He, I mean, he's been, he is he's been amazing playing, playing forever he, and he's just incredible to watch him play. He is amazing, but you you know his his track record is not always that great in the final day in the final. Well, let's hope. Well, I hope that. And I, and and I, and I'm as for, when I say his track record, I mean his his ability to 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 put together plays and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? He always seems to have a harder time at that in the final. Right, right. Last night, is that your choice? Is that are you choosing Argentina? Yeah. That's who I'm going to be rooting for. I mean, Brazil, you know, it's funny. Last time I was, I was so sure that Brazil was going to win something is when they got beat up. Was it by France or Germany to beat them like seven to one? In, 25 uh, years ago today. I think, no, wait, was it 25 years? No, no it was, but it was today. It happened today. Like, really? yeah. In whatever year that was, they beat them seven to one. Yeah. Seven to one. Yeah. Um, that's the last time that I, I was like, oh, Brazil's going to win this for sure. Man. I'm <laughs> to see it. 
I mean, that, that game was like depressing to watch, man, to see the, the Brazilians. You never, bet, you never bet against Germany, man. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you don't really bet against Brazil either, man, but right. I mean. So I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see. I'd like to see uh, Argentina take that game. Um, They're both very strong teams. Um, yeah, yeah. It'll be fun to watch. It's going to be a good game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got that going on on Saturday, and then we have uh, the Euro UEFA. UEFA yep. Euro. And it's um, <laughs> because just hours after our show last week. <laughs> England managed to break Germany's heart and a 55-year losing streak against that team in international competition. But uh, so Germany's out, and it, in the final is Italy, motherfucking England. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how you guys do it. I mean, I know that, like, when the Broncos get eliminated in the playoffs, right, I don't vote for my motherfucking – I don't vote for anybody in my, like, in their conference or anything like that, right? You know what I mean? I definitely vote against the team that knocked them out. Right. And just like and just like that, I'm rooting for Italy, bro. Yeah. Because you know, England, man. Enjoy your <laughs> enjoy breaking that 55 year streak, man. But fuck you guys, man. I, I tell you, I watched that uh the England Denmark game. And Denmark has just been on a roll, man. They've been steamrolling over some teams. Yeah. Uh, what was it? I think it was the first two goals, I think, were both scored by Denmark. Uh, so it was one to one. Ended up going to that's the one that ended up in the shootout, right? It was the Denmark? I'm pretty sure it was the Denmark England game. Yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun to watch. Really, really a fun game to watch. That's another I, thing. Go I, ahead. Go ahead. I saw a news blurb today, and I think it was something that my friend Jeff Kaufman again mentioned um, that there's a seems to be an investigation going on whether or not the Danish goaltender was hindered by English fans with laser pointers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, drama, man. <laughs> is, the, now, is, the, is the finals in Wembley? Yes. Yes? Uh, that'll be that'll be. Fun That's to watch. kind of fucked up. They had home field advantage all through this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lucky um, draw for them. Lucky draw. Right, yeah. That but be- I, here's the thing. I think uh, I think England is a a younger younger team, and I think uh, I think the styles are way different. Uh, Italy definitely plays more aggressively. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They're more of an attacking team, um, and they'll just keep trying to pound you until they make you make a mistake. You know what I mean? And so I think their chances are pretty good to to win it. Yeah. Is that your prediction? You're going with England? That's my prediction, yeah. I'm going with Italy over England. Italy? That's what I'm taking, too. I'm, I think I'm going Italy. Uh, you know, England's been pulling shit out, but I, I don't know. They just – every time I've watched them play I – mean, obviously, they're, they're a great team. They're a lot of fun to watch. But I, I just think – I don't know. I think Italy's going to – I think they're going to kind of take it to them. So. But, you know, again, the home field advantage, we'll just have to see – what happens with that <laughs> you know that's that's you know that's got to be tough uh but it's you know we're talking shootouts so it's another thing that there's a shootout between uh argentina whoever they played in the semis i can't remember now who it was maybe colombia maybe i think it was argentina colombia anyway they had a shootout that was just well it was just outrageous it was their their goalie the argentina goalie Ended up with three saves. And I didn't know, <laughs> you know, Copa Americana doesn't have extra time. They go straight to shootouts. Straight, straight to shootout, out, yeah. Yeah. Um, but they do – they had – their goalie had three saves. And, um, I mean, just all of them incredible. And I, and you could you could kind of see what he was doing to to, to get the, the, the shooters to shoot the way that he was going to go. You could kind of see what he was doing. And I've never seen that tactic used before. I'm sure it's used all the time. But the fact that he that that three out of the five guys actually shot the way that he was kind of he forced them to yeah. yeah I was like oh, that's pretty uh, you know you, uh, maybe that's a pressure thing for the other team I don't know but that was a lot of fun to watch so yeah I'm, I'm predicting I'm predicting Argentina and I'm predict, predicting predicting uh, Italy to win those games. I don't know I don't know who uh, 
I don't know who. I mean, I love Messi. I love him as a player. Um, but, you know, just can't, just can't, just can't count them out, man. The Brazilians, man, they got that, that Jenga. Yeah. That Jenga style. Very true. They make shit happen, man. At the least, at the most unexpected times, man, they make magic happen on the field. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's it's kind of like entwined. It's too tough, man. But <laughs> it's too tough for me to make a prediction. You know, I recently saw a a uh, documentary on Lionel Messi. It wasn't just on him; it was on a team that he played with. Um, and I've been meaning to tell you about it, and now for the life of me, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, it was really really interesting. It was all about their style of play. It's called like pass, 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 shoot or something like that. It was like the name of, of the, of the, sh- of the documentary. Yeah. So, something to that effect. Yeah. I can't remember now. I should have looked it up before we came on, but I didn't uh, really good. If you ever get a chance to check it out, definitely check it out. It was uh, interesting to watch. I, I couldn't even tell you which team it was that, that he was playing for that it, that it came from, but it was a lot of fun. We got those two that are down. We also have, let's see, they're one game in to the NBA Finals, which is the Phoenix Suns versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, game two should start here any minute if it hasn't already. Uh, Phoenix is up one game to nothing. Uh, do you have any you have any prediction one way or the other? Have you been keeping up on, on any of the games? I'm not really. Again, basketball is another another sport I played um, organized sport I played as a youngster. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, soccer and and basketball are the two sports other than martial arts that I played or participated in as, as a young adult. You know, I played baseball for fun, man, like every day. Yeah. In the summertime, there's always a pickup game of ball, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I never I never got into it into organized baseball. Just wasn't my thing. I never got into organized football. I didn't like the stop and start of it. I, I I appreciated the running of the running clock of soccer, man. So I was always drawn to that, you know, rather than stop and start of fucking football. Right. I mean, it just didn't appeal to me as a youngster. I guess. <laughs> but uh, basketball, I, I thoroughly enjoyed. And I wasn't bad at it. I was just the shortest. You know what I mean? I've always been short. So there came a time where I had to give up basketball. You know what I mean? Because I was just getting fucked up by all the tall guys. But, uh, you know, so. So it's not something I track like that. You know what I mean? But I'm rooting for the the Bucks because what's his name? Paul, that kid Paul. Well, he's been, he's been in the league for like 16 years and has never had a shot. Oh, he's no, he played for Phoenix. You talking about? Chris oh, he's Paul. played for Chris Paul. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that kid. I'm rooting for whatever team that kid's on. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna say. It's kind of funny you mentioned about being too short. Now he's not by any means one of the shortest to ever play, but no. you look at him out there with all the giants on the court, man, and he is head and shoulders below everybody. And game one, he just had. I mean, he's he had the most. He, I think he had like 37 points, 32 points, something like that. Him and the other guard for Phoenix uh, combined for the most points by any two guards in their first finals appearance. Um, I think wow. between the two of them, they have 59 points. Ever? Uh, ever, yeah. Um, you know, Phoenix has never won a wow a championship. So that's, a, that's another thing. Uh, but Chris Paul, man, you know, I know he catches a lot of flack. I, I've seen a lot of teammates that don't particularly like him. I don't, I don't know if they Their house is nice. What, but uh, he – you know, I'm rooting for him too, man. He's been he's he's been in the league what seems like forever, and he is the best player thus far that's ever come through the New Orleans Hornets organization. Um, so, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of players in that uh, between the two teams and the coach for Phoenix who all came through the New Orleans organization. So. Uh, I don't know if Chris Paul. I don't know if he started. How were, how long is New or, How long has New Orleans had a team? Then? Uh, it's been a little while. I like. I was just gonna say. I don't know if Chris Paul came in when they were still the Charlotte Hornets, or if they just 
moved over to be in New Orleans. I don't. Oh, quite. so the Charlotte Hornets moved down to New Orleans? Uh-huh. Yeah, they now they're the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, they changed their name to the Pelicans. Uh, well, the New Orleans, you know, Utah Jazz. See, I thought that was an expansion team, the Pelicans. No, Utah Jazz used to be a you were in New Orleans, and then they moved to Utah, and for whatever stupid reason, never changed their name. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Pelicans. Pelicans are formerly formerly the Hornets, and uh, and they came down from from Charlotte. So, and I think I, maybe I don't know Charlotte. I don't even know if they still have a team. I know they had the Bobcats there for a little bit, but I thought they were trying to get the name Hornets back. I'm not sure if they did or not. But yeah, I'll be rooting. I'm rooting for, and I'll be, and that's my prediction. I think, I, I think Chris Paul's due, man. And at his age, and just the domination that he's been showing on the court through the through the playoffs, it's just been incredible. And it's funny; it's always coming late in the game. I mean, when it matters most, he just steps up and just takes over, man. And it's it's like. I don't know. He's just on a different level, you know, and there's a lot of good players on the court. You know, you got, uh, and I can't pronounce his last name for the Bucks. Giannis at, at a 10 coupe or something like that. I can't, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. European player. Uh, I, I think he's from maybe from South Africa or something like that. Uh, dominant player, really good player. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure where he's from, but <laughs> But I think that's it. I don't know shit, man. I, I don't know, but just I know I know that everybody just calls him Giannis. That's his first name is Giannis. Um, but they got you know, they, they got they got a lot of good players on that team as well. And Milwaukee hasn't won a championship since 1971 or 72, back when Lou Alcindor was still playing for him. You know, right. before before the days of him being Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, he 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 was the last one to win one there. So. That's one good thing about basketball this year is it's finally it's some new teams. You know what I mean? You got one that's never been <laughs> yeah. there, and or not, not or actually Phoenix has been there before. They were there, I think the last finals they were in was 24, 25 years ago, something like that. And um, and then Milwaukee. I don't know when the last time they were there, but I know the last one they won was in the seventies, in the early seventies. Uh, so it's it's just nice to see some new teams, some some younger guys up there doing it. So. <laughs> I'm excited to watch that that series as well. Um, so yeah, that's my prediction for that. Will be Phoenix. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Man, I don't know. I I want to say Phoenix and I'll say Phoenix in six. I think they're gonna win it in six. I kind of think they're gonna do it in five, but I, I bet it ends up going six. I mean, Milwaukee's got to look better than they did in that first game. I mean, they just they got got in that game. And do, do you feel like? Do you feel like if they don't show up in the next game, they, they, they you may as well put a pin in them? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and now they're playing in Phoenix. So it kind of, you know, obviously Phoenix has got. Oh, you know, of course. They got, they got the advantage there. But I, I it's a nice want, house. Yeah. Yeah. Road teams. I know road teams want to go. They usually at least want to go 500 when they're when they're at, at the opponent's place. But I mean, just the just the way that the Phoenix took over that game and just dominated at the end. It was just, it didn't even look like the same two teams are supposed to be there, but yeah, you know, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, they'll make their, uh, they'll make their adjustments. We'll see what happens. They, they got made, they were made to look bad in the first game of the last series too, against Atlanta, Atlanta. And they ended up, and then them up. yeah, they ended up spanking up on Atlanta. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, another thing I want to bring up tomorrow our own Mr. Christian. Oh, his big figgity fat birthday is tomorrow. Double um, nickel, bitches. The double nickel this year. So happy birthday, Christian. Thanks, bro. Uh, yeah, you know, I wish I could come do something with you, but obviously that's not gonna happen. I hope you have a great day and get to do whatever it is you want to do. I'm making yeah. my kid dinner. Yeah, is that the only plans you got? Yeah, that's cool. it. That'll Hanging be, out with Elon. That'll be good. Um. She did yeah. such a good job on that on Liar, that song. So yeah, proud. I'm so proud of her, man. I came out really good. Came out yeah, really that's pretty good. good. Uh, I need to get it onto my computer so I can listen to it through my good speakers. But I like what I hear, man. It's I'm excited. I get more excited the more shit you send me. I know. It's getting crazy now. Uh, and for those of you unaware, uh, Christian is in 
Yeah, well, you tell them. <laughs> There's a new GPM album coming out. The Ultramix album comes out Halloween this year. But stay tuned for a brand new single. You guys, next put, you guys gonna put that out? We're gonna do Harsh Water. We're gonna release Harsh Water. Oh, nice, nice. Well, cool. Uh, what could you? What kind of schedule are you guys doing as far as recording? You just kind of getting together when you can, or what? Yeah, you know, it's uh, luckily I have my own. I have my own home studio now, so I can, I can work. You know, I can, I can work whenever it strikes me to. But the problem is, is you know, I have so much shit. I have so much, it feels like I have so much shit going on, man, with this full-time job. And now it's a mid-shift, you know what I mean? So mm. it my, it my time during the day, you know, so I'm just trying to be as productive as I can and not let my head, you know, knock me off course and shit. Right, right. But, you know, we're getting there, man. We're, I mean, I'm pr producing shit every week. So as long as I'm putting out something every week. Good. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Good deal. Well, uh, with that, uh, let's talk about our sponsor. As always, we're sponsored by the Riff Rag. Covering local music in Southern Colorado and beyond. <laughs> uh, we got, definitely go check their stuff out. Email Anthony, uh, the Riff Rag at gmail.com. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, get, your, get your subscription over there. Uh, you got anything else? Nope. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, thanks once again for tuning in. We did another sports show, so fuck off and die. <laughs> if you think you're some kind of podcast purist or something, that thinks I you should tell me how to do my own show, kiss my ass, kiss all of my big brown Hawaiian ass. I don't know who to, I don't know. I really don't, I just really don't. Really, just don't understand who the f you think you are, bro. Yeah. Oh well. You don't. <laughs> you know that's it. It doesn't matter, man. It, it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, we will be doing here soon. We're going to be doing a another episode on some on what this person apparently thinks only the stage stuff is. We're going to do a day in the life of a stagehand. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming out pretty soon. Um, Hoping to get a good guest for that. But even if not, Christian and I have more than enough stories to share on something like that. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, yeah. We'll see you for another sports recap of all these tournaments we just talked about today. That's right. All right, then. Take it easy. Peace. Laters. That upset me, man. <laughs> I did me too. I'm just like, what? I thought you guys were a backstage thing. Uh, we are. You're dead. <laughs> like, stay in your own lane and get out of my business. How about that? <laughs>